This is Dave Michaels. I'm at Zoom Perspectives with Eric Wan, the CEO and founder of Zoom. Uh, we've had a fantastic time at Zoom Perspectives. Thanks a lot for hosting this event. Awesome. I want to start right away with um, the way you opened the session yesterday. Uh, you said you had three key priorities for, for, for Zoom. Uh, uh, the third one was the obvious one. I guess it was surprising it was number three, so we'll get to that in a second. But let's start off with ecosystem. What, what are you trying to accomplish with ecosystem? I think it's a great question. You know, thank you, Dave. Thank you for coming to you know, Perspective 2023 is Zoom Analyst Summit. As, they, as you said, we're very excited about those three priorities. An ecosystem platform, hybrid work, and AI. In terms of uh, ecosystem, first of all, we have a platform, and also we open up our platform capability to third-party ecosystem and the developers to allow them to leverage our platform, leverage our API, to build all kinds of applications to target departments or target vertical use cases like a healthcare industry or education industry. So I thought ecosystem was a really interesting number one priority because people think of Zoom as you've got the Zoom app and it's doing everything. It's got meetings, it's got chat, it's got mail now, it's got all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't seem like there's room for an ecosystem, but, but, there, but this is kind of a change. This, you're really opening up the APIs now. Absolutely, because first of all, you need to offer the uh, platform capability, and then you make sure your architecture, right? You can embed some of your component to other system. At the same time, you open up your API capability to let a third party build applications upon your platform. Okay, so then the number two priority, um, I think you said it differently, but I wrote down uh, verticals and personas. Is that, how did you say it? Uh, yeah, that's right. You know, okay. essentially, this is similar to the first one, the platform and also the API. It's, you know, the goal to have API to make sure you build, you know, vertical applications and you build all kinds of new applications upon our platform. And, and so, would you say uh, verticals, uh, you're talking more about the roles of individuals, like the contact center roles, or, or are you talking more about industries, like... Uh, but both, uh, uh, both. Okay. You know, contact center more like a target support department, right? And also you can build application target, let's say, marketing department or HR department, or you leverage our platform to build an application, you know, for the educational use case, right? To target healthcare, the telemedicine use case, all kinds of other vertical use cases can be built, you know, based on our API or platform capability. Okay, and then number three, which was I, was I was expecting to be number one, but I'm I'm not the boss. Uh, number three is AI. Uh, you really filled out the executive bench around some AI capabilities. Tell me a little bit about your AI vision and strategy. Yeah, you could say AI is number one because actually it's hard to always because everyone know we are going to talk about AI. That's yep. why we did not mention that. But AI indeed is the, probably the top priority for us because if you get you know our you know the platform our application capability. We do have a lot of data, right? Customers like our uh, product, like our experience, you know, how to make sure leverage those data with a large language model, right? To enable a lot of uh, new use cases, right? Like a uh, very meaningful meeting summary, meeting query, and a team chat compose, and a lot of uh, AI features, I think will be added, you know, to our platform. So that's why we're very, very excited. And also our AI approach is very different, right? Which is a federated AI approach. And we have our own large language model. We also support any other large language model as well, either uh, uh, cloud-based or open source-based, right? Or even support a customer-based large language model as well. It, and so the AI vision is across the entire portfolio. Yes, absolutely. And, and you've got some new executives here to help you out with that. Uh, you've got, I would say, quite a strong bench of uh, AI capabilities. You've, uh, you've I, I heard, I think, three major executives <laughs> from uh, Microsoft recently. Uh, so, very impressive. So, so we've covered a lot of stuff here. We've got to wrap up this video. I know your time's valuable. Um, I want to hit, just kind of hit, because there were so many things we covered. Um, I think that you are going, you have a strategy to increase your awareness. Um, uh, and that's probably the platform play? Yes. Um, and, and so, that's the, that's the, okay. And then, uh, you've also got a strategy to increase your revenue. Where do you yeah. see, where do you see that uh, uh, nailing it? Yeah, so Dev, that, that is great. So you look at you know our platform. A lot of our customers they even did not realize we have a very flexible the platform, right? Not only it's just a video conferencing, a phone, team chat, a whiteboard, a content, and a lot of stuff. So from awareness perspective, platform is our number one part. Make sure all the you know the, the public audience understand our platform. 
from a revenue perspective, as you said, the contact center, Zoom phone, you know, Zoom uh, AI for sales department, all those can help us contribute to our revenue growth, right? From an innovation perspective, for sure, everything will center around AI, AI, and hybrid work. However, you look at our ecosystem from a total addressable market from time, expansion perspective, that's our ecosystem, right? How to leverage our platform to develop all kinds of new applications to target different use cases, either on department level, on the vertical use case, that's also the opportunity for us as well. I, I think I think that's fantastic, and it's so exciting to watch the success that Zoom has had and the, and the success that I think Zoom is going to have. It's been great to watch the growth of the company, and I just wish you the best with that. Thank you, my friend. Dev, you're always best. Thank you, man. Thank you.